If you wanna move away from wearing t-shirts, baggy pants, oversized hoodies, and Air Force Ones, make sure you watch this video to the end. Because I'm gonna show you how to achieve the old money fall style with these 15 items on the list that will have you dressing better than any other man on this earth. Okay, except for the guys that are watching this video, of course. And then after I show you these 15 items, I'm gonna give you seven old money outfits that you can wear for every day of the week. Number one, you wanna make sure that you stick to neutral colors like black, brown, beige, tan, and navy. Number two, class Classic tailoring is so important. So like I said earlier, no baggy pants, but also no skinny fit pants as well. Now let's get into the items. The first pair of pants on the list is going to be wool trousers. Now, if you watch my summer old money video, then you know that linen pants was the thing to wear then, and now wool because it's gonna keep you warmer. The second pants on the list is gonna be houndstooth trousers. Honestly, this is one of the most enjoyable pants to wear, especially for the fall season. Because of their pure sophistication and multiple patterns, it makes it insanely versatile to be able to wear with a bunch of different colors and outfits. Now for our section with tops. The first one is gonna be a fitted quarter zip sweater. For this one, I wouldn't go super thick with the quarter zip. I will go with the quarter zip that is a little bit more slim and fitted. That way it's easier to layer with other items. Number four is gonna be a long sleeve buttonless sweater polo. Now in the summertime, we wear the buttonless polos with a lot of our outfits. This version is one to keep you a little bit warmer by it being a sweater polo with sweater material and just long sleeve now. The next top is a turtleneck, but you just gotta make sure that you wear it the right way. The next item on the list is gonna be a textured crew neck sweater. I just recently got this one from Suit Supply and it's one of my favorites right now. I kind of feel really player when I put it on and I think that you should give it a try. Makes it really cool to be able to wear by itself on days where you don't need a jacket but you also want to wear some knitwear. Now for the jacket section and the first one is going to be one that I really love and it's a classic item and that is a knitted shirt jacket. Now one thing I really love about knitted shirt jackets is because this adds a level of sophistication but also to your casual style. The number seven item on the list is going to be one of my favorites. This is going to be a fitted quilted vest. I am so much of a vest guy. You'll see the versatility of them as well. You want your quilted vest to be a little bit more fitted. That way you can also layer it. It's all about layering classic clothing on top of it. Think about the old money fall style as a classic menswear style on hard mode. The number eight item on the list is gonna be a zipper cardigan. Now, not like a regular cardigan that I have on right now, but this is a little bit more of a sophisticated cardigan. This is that type of zipper cardigan that you can wear over your shoulders if you're wearing a polo, or you simply look like just a classic expensive human. The next item on the list is gonna be one of my favorites and you will see me wearing this all fall season and it's a suede trucker jacket now a suede trucker jacket is an expensive item but this right here i will say i have worn time and time again now something else you may have noticed is that the fall season is all about texture and that suede texture chef's kiss next up on the list you always know i'm going to put a suit in here and for this one it's going to be a double breasted wool suit now, of course, in other videos, I've made recommendations on wearing a single breasted suit, but a double breasted suit, I think is also more stylish and it has a little bit more fabric on it to keep you warmer in the fall and winter time. Now for the footwear section, the only footwear you wanna to wear to maintain that classic look is going to be a leather loafer. Now, I know in other videos, I've suggested suede loafers, I suggested lug sole loafers, just to maintain that classic old money aesthetic, a leather loafer does the job. The second footwear item is gonna be a minimal white sneaker. And then in and out of the list with our accessories, you're gonna need a brown strap watch. I have this one right here that is from Timex. It's only $25 and it gets the job done and looks good with all of my outfits. The next item on the list is going to be a belt. Whether you're wearing black or brown, I think you can go with either one. It just depends on what kind of color you're wearing. Now we have all those items out of the way. Here are the seven outfits. So starting out with Monday, AKA outfit number one. This outfit right here is very casual, but sophisticated at the same time. With the cream turtleneck, still more elevated casuals. With the zipper sweater, it also does dress the outfit up a little bit more. And then we're putting it with the wool brown chocolate trousers and then finishing it off with the brown leather loafers. Now for Tuesday outfit number two, for my guys that love an all black look, this right here is a great one. With the knitted shirt jacket, that already is a vibe. And then we are layering that over the long sleeve knitted polo as well. So you have warmth and you have style on top of those. Then you have your black wool trousers, which are keeping you warm. Next we have is Wednesday. And what I do really love about Wednesday is that this is another achromatic outfit. So this is another outfit that any guy can pull off. It's also elevated casual because 
because we do have black leather loafers, the wool trousers, but we have a little bit of texture and you're laying it over casually with that white t-shirt. And as you can see, also on my wrist, I do have a black leather watch, which also complements my outfit as well. Now for Thursday in outfit number four, we're throwing a little bit of a pop of color in there. And this is that burnt orange layered over the cream knitted vest. In totality, I will say this is a smart casual outfit again with the sneakers and also doing the trousers at the same time. Outfit number five, this right here is your date night aesthetic. This is your date night look. This is how you look and feel when you step out of the door with that cream crew neck with that little bit of texture in there you already are standing now and it's elevated you're tucking it in and also showing the detail of the belt as well too with those pinstripe trousers and finishing off with you know a couple gold accessories to complement the belt of course then you have your black leather loafers saturday night is for one of the best outfits i think in this whole thing and layering is a great way to take even just an outfit to a look. And this right here is a look. And this is why I say that quarter zip has to be a fitted knit quarter zip. Just really creates a whole vibe up top. It makes your outfit overall more and more interesting. And then of course you're comboing it with the wool trousers and the leather loafers just for a clean masculine, really, really laid back but stylish look. And Sundays are for Sunday's best. Of course, you're going to have on a suit to look your best. And you guys know I'm a suit guy, so having a nice wool suit just like this one, but a beautiful pinstripe double-breasted just to stand out and just seem amazing at what you're doing. If you watch my videos in the past, you know the button rule, so you want to make sure that you don't button that bottom button of your double-breasted blazer, but also putting that turtleneck to look impeccable and sophisticated is a great way to do it. And also putting on those leather loafers too makes it even more of a classic look that I love. If you plan on wearing this to church now, look, they're gonna stare, they're gonna look, and they're gonna know you look good. But also if you have a fall, winter wedding, you have friends that are getting married, if you're single going to a wedding and you wear this, just know you may be leaving with your future wife or next girlfriend, who knows.